Neck Warriors. And this is another episode of the Cat Effect Destroyer. Now this Cat Effect is a hero mech and I would just want you to see how well it will do against the irregular mission under normal conditions. Now the deployment tonnage here is 230 tons and mine is 210 which is a little bit under. I'm also running as my AI Our counterpart as another cut effect and need us to screen their retreat. which uh, two of these mechs the will make a fantastic duo well as actually as trio we have an opportunity since I have another counterpart us, with me the longer we can hold the enemies back okay so the difficulty of this mission is 33 as opposed to 40 difficulty that was from the previous one the uh, 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 the name of the mission, I think it was uh, the first strike, and it was a conquest mission. But I do get it that the conquest missions are normally more difficult since it's a conquest and they really want you to push yourself. Well, and as far as this mission goes, this should be a very big problem. For my hero, Catafact. Now, let me show you what this mech can do. It's really pretty simple. My two AC, AC5s and AC10 are set to the first and the second firing group. So all I'm doing is simply pressing and holding my left mouse button and my right mouse button. And the result, you can see yourself. It is as simple as that. Now. This is a 70 ton medium mech, which is at the very top of the medium mech range, because normally medium mechs are 50, 55, 65, like the versatile Thunderbolt. However, well, and down goes another one. However, this cat effect and any medium cat effects are 70 tons. And they are pretty versatile as well, however, Depending on which model you get, they might be outfitted with lots of uh, energy weapons and no missile weapons, or they can be outfitted with lots of kinetics, like this hero cat effect, and no energy or missile ne missile uh, weapon slots whatsoever. So let's see, we have two more light mechs that are approaching. And let's see how fast I can kill them. Okay, can you please not stand in my in front of my guns? And down it goes. So as you can see, no pressure whatsoever. Hello. Down goes another one. I mean, it took maybe five or six or seven bursts in order to bring that light mech down. With with the PPC, it would probably would take. I mean, again, depends on how accurate you are with your PPC. Probably four or five hits in the same spots. But then again, you have to hit your enemy mech in the same spot. Which, if the light mechs are moving, for instance. And uh, light, light mechs do move pretty pretty fast, like this cicada here. It's really not that easy. I mean, it is not that easy to hit them with these these burst fire cannons. However, even if I miss, I will still be able to land most of my shots on target. And down he goes. Now, Cicada. Okay, he is smart, so he's hiding behind the buildings. Alright, let me aim a little bit more. Hmm. Well, looks like my AI counterparts have taken him, taken him down. And my mech haven't sustained that much damage. Now, another thing about the uh, Catafact, it is pretty heavily armored. Well, given that it's... 70 ton mech, then yeah. Again, not every 65, 
to 70 ton mech in the medium mech radius is as heavily armored as Catafact. Down he down goes that mech, and oh, that's a heavy tank, but that's no problem. Now, the only thing that you really have to worry about is your ammo count. But you get pretty decent amount for you to engage all your enemies, let's say if you are doing a raid or if you are doing a, a demolition mission. I mean, all you gotta do is just to fire, um, add some buildings, and then the uh, small buildings you can just walk through, basically, to demolish them. And down goes another one. Oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, let me back out. Let's see, so we have two light and one medium. Alright, let's bring him down. Down it goes. Now for the Centurion. And that was actually the first time that I've used my lasers. Mm. As you as you can see, no problem at all. Again, burst fire cannon, guys. I do get that with the regular cannon, like the regular AC cannons, AC2, AC5s, Ultra AC. You do kind of get one shot, which is a uh, a less damage. However, it makes a little bit easier for you to aim. So basically, AC cannon, it's it's like your Gauss rifle only with the less damage and as you know gauss rifles are op in this game however for your hunchback i would really recommend for for you guys to outfit it with 20 ac burst fire and as many white stripes on the weapon as possible to bring the total damage 24 and up down goes another one and my least of favorite of all, Cicada. Now, why I don't like this Cicada, you should ask. Well, because it is a light mech and it moves pretty fast. And it also has a very nasty bite. So whenever you see a Cicada, you do want to destroy it as fast as possible. Now, I could have stayed longer here. But I really don't want to risk it because my mech is beginning to go critical. I do have some of my red parts. My uh, my leg is red, and my medium, um, my mid torso is also red. But I am gonna see if I if I can get these last targets. Hmm. Hold on a second. And down it goes. So guys, as you can see. This Catafact mech is really an awesome piece. And if you're looking for a very good medium-sized mech, which is perhaps not so versatile, but hits, hits as hard as a hammer, the Catafact is your obvious choice.